Hey, it's Sabby here with How to Tilt Brush Part 1, Episode 5. In this episode, I will go over the tools panel on the palette controller. I'll start with the eraser tool, then the dropper tool, then the recolor tool, the cameras, the teleport feet, the selection tool, the mirror tool, then the straight edge. So let's get to it. The eraser tool erases your brush stroke. It will swoop them up individually using the smaller size eraser or as a group using the larger size. The size can be adjusted using your thumb pad. You can undo the action by pressing your back button or rapid undo by holding the back button down. You can also redo the action with the redo button one step at a time or rapid redo by holding the button down. The dropper tool allows you to sample colors and brush types. It will equip your brush controller with the color, brush type, and the size of the brush stroke that you sample. This is helpful when you want to continue where you left off on another area of your painting, use the same color with a different brush type, sample colors from a custom color palette you imported, and sample colors when translating a 2D art piece into VR art. Use the dropper tool to examine what another artist used in their painting to achieve a certain effect. It's such a great learning tool when viewing other artists' artwork. When the dropper tool is equipped, just hover over the artwork and the type of brush will be displayed. I have a playlist called Featured VR Artist where I review other artists' VR artwork and show their style and how they use the various tools and brushes. You can find the link below in the description of this video. The recolor tool recolors your brush strokes. Choose another color on your color palette and resize the tool with the thumb pad to recolor one brush stroke or for multiple at a time. Recolor by pressing and holding the trigger button while touching the brush stroke. The camera tool can turn your artwork into a photo, video, or GIF. Click the button to load the camera tool. Find the perfect spot, then press the trigger, and the photo will be saved as a PNG file in the snapshots folder. The resolution of your photos and videos can be adjusted using the config file command lines. To do this is somewhat advanced, and I will post a video about it in the Tilt Brush Advanced playlist. Use your thumb pad to toggle to the right, and your video camera will appear. Press the trigger and record. The red blinking border of the camera viewing screen will show while the camera is recording. To stop recording, just press the trigger again. There will be a floppy disk save icon, which indicates that the video is being transmitted and saved to your computer. The video can be uploaded straight to YouTube by pressing and holding the YouTube icon on the thumb pad. You'll see the video playback on the camera viewing screen for review before uploading. Confirm the upload by holding the check mark down. YouTube will open up on your computer browser with the uploaded video. Add your title and description and just save your changes. You can find your video files in the Tilt Brush Videos folder. In this folder, you will see the MP4 for file of your video as well as a USD file and a batch file. The batch file has options to render a 360 video and other formats. Make sure your computer can handle rendering a 360 video before you select these options. Learn more about these processes in part three of this How to Tilt Brush tutorial series. Toggle the thumb pad to the right again for the five second GIF camera mode. This is a timed recording of five seconds. Move the camera around while holding the trigger down to create your GIF. Toggle the thumb pad to the right one more time for the auto GIF camera mode. This mode will swing your artwork back and forth for a dramatic effect. Find your GIFs in the Tilt Brush Snapshots folder. The teleport feet will allow you to transport around your scene. Just aim and pull the trigger and you will land in that spot. In an experiment I did, I found the shape and volume of the workspace in Tilt Brush by using the transport feet to find out how far I could go. It turns out it's the shape of a sphere and it's an enormous virtual space. Watch Tilt Brush experiments measuring area and volume 
in the virtual workspace. The link is below. The transportation happens on the horizontal plane and not on the vertical plane, at least for now. So to move vertically, use the grip buttons to climb up and down in your scene. Reach up with both controllers, press and hold the grip buttons, then pull your controllers down, then release the grip buttons. To climb down, just reach down, press the grip buttons, then move your controllers upward, then release the grip buttons. These are also the same controls used to scale your artwork. To zoom into your artwork, hold your controllers in front of you, press and hold the grip buttons, then separate the controllers from each other, then release the grip buttons. To zoom out of your scene, do the opposite. Separate the controllers, hold the grip buttons down, bring the controllers towards each other, then release the grip buttons. To reset to the center of your workspace, hold the grip buttons down and press the thumb pads at the same time. This will reset you to the origin of your workspace. The selection tool allows you to select your brush strokes. Just toggle the button and the tool will load on your brush controller. Press the trigger to activate it. Touch the brush strokes that you want to select, then intersect the selection. Copy the selection using the thumb pad while intersecting the selection. Use the grip buttons to grab the selection and you can scale it by holding the palette controller's grip buttons down and moving the controllers closer to shrink the selection or further away to enlarge the selection or grab it and toss it away. The same actions can be done for the guides, objects, and imported photos. Hold the trigger button down on the selection tool button to open more buttons for selecting. Here you will find the select all option. This will select all the brush strokes and unpinned assets in your scene. Flip selection flips your selected brush strokes and guides. Make your selection, then long click on the selection button and select flip selection. And the flip happens left to right on the horizontal axis. Currently, imported images and models will not flip. They will need to be edited with an editing app before importing. Invert selection will reverse your selection. Make your selection, select invert selection, and everything else other than what you originally selected will be highlighted. This is helpful when you need to select many brush strokes at once. By selecting what you do not need, then using the invert selection button, you can quickly select a large amount of brush strokes. When painting Da Vinci Paints the Mona Lisa, I used very fine strokes for the details. And when I needed to erase a brush stroke, I zoomed in as far as I could, then used the selection tool to select the area, then toggled to the deselect mode with the thumb pad and carefully deselected the unwanted brush strokes until I isolated the one stroke that I needed. The mirror tool will mirror your brush strokes. This is a great tool for making symmetrical sketches. Click the button and the mirror will spawn into your workspace on the origin spot. Grab it with the grip buttons and move it where you need it. It can be mounted back to its original spawn location by snapping it to the box borders. If you are far from the origin of your workspace, just long select on the mirror button and use the summon button to summon the mirror in front of you. It can be placed freehand or snap it to the vertical axis by gripping it and pressing the lock button. For even more accuracy, it will snap every 15 degrees around the y-axis. The brush strokes will mirror to the other side. Use it to make symmetrical anatomy, then position your anatomy for the perfect pose. The mirror will also snap to the x-axis. In the painting Indigo, I used this position to create a perfect reflection of the artwork below the waterline. The creation of a brush stroke and the deletion of a brush stroke will mirror across to the other side, but at the moment, no other actions will mirror. In the Last Supper painting, I use the mirror to paint the faces of the figures. I leave the mirror in place until I complete the character, just in case I still need it. Toggle the mirror on and off with its button on the tools panel. There is only one mirror, and it will stay in place until you move it. One of the first Easter eggs in Tilt Brush many find out about is that the mirror spins. When trying to throw the mirror away, you will see that the mirror spins wildly. Practice throwing the mirror, and you can control the spin. Make fun geometry like a tornado an infinite wormhole in space, or an abstract flower. Experiment with this technique, and if you like, share with us what you discovered. The straight edge tool will give you straight brush strokes in any direction. Use this for nice straight brush strokes in your artwork. I use the straight edge when painting sunlight beams. The straight brush stroke can also be snapped to 45 degree increments when pressing and holding the thumb pad down. 
I love using this combination when painting architecture. It gives me straight, vertical, and horizontal lines and makes the lines look clean. The straight edge tool is also a step in another Easter egg in Tilt Brush. Perfect shapes. Watch Tilt Brush Secrets Perfect Shapes tutorial to find out how to do this. Link is in the description. I hope I made it easy for you to explore the many features and buttons on the tools panel, and I hope to see what interesting things you discover with the spinning mirror technique. Join me in the next episode as I go over the more panel and show how to customize your environment using the preset environments, how to change the look of the brush strokes and lighting with the lighting panel, and how to control changing the shape of your guides and more. Join the VR Art Live community for VR art entertainment and content, and to find a growing community of VR artists streamers. You can join in on our Facebook page as well. Links are below. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next video.